Good morning, Patriots. Good morning, Americans. Well, despite what happened yesterday, it's still a good day to be an American because the Lord was watching over him yesterday. And I'm talking about President Trump. If he had turned his head just a little bit another way, he is no longer with us. Now, we said, I've been saying this was going to happen. They're going to make at least one attempt. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a second and third attempt where it's all of a sudden done. But we now know Thomas Matthew Cook's 20 years old local resident was the shooter. Apparently he's a registered Republican, but he also gave political action money to hard left courses, including the day of Biden's inauguration, even though it was smooth. Yeah, that's all we know so far. We haven't tapped into his uh, any of his social media if he has any. Uh, if he's 20 years old, he probably has a TikTok account somewhere more than anything else since that's where the younger generation seems to go. But uh, Marshall Marachi, a former Secret Service agent, was on Fox and Friends this morning. Now, I am not a big fan of Fox Network at all. The Fox News Channel, they all control the opposition. But this guy is an ex-Secret Service agent. So this guy is pre he's pretty much badass. Probably has a military uh, career before his time in the Secret Service. But he said this didn't surprise him. And I agree with him. It didn't surprise me. But for him, it was for different reasons. Because he was in the Secret Service. Um... They have been short resources for years. And I do know someone in the Secret Service who lives right around my area. I won't mention his name, no reason to. But he had told me the same thing. They have been very short on personnel. He says when it comes to events like this or events at the United Nations, we have a whole bunch of foreign dignitaries come in. It is a headache because they don't have the resources and they have to rely more on local law enforcement. Now, the Trump team has been asking for more Secret Service protection, and the DHS has rejected him. Now, the DSS is run by, you know who, number 46. Now, did the Secret Service have the resources to give to Trump? Now I come to figure out, <coughs> there's another problem. 30% of the Secret Service are made up of women. I'm sorry. But we should not be playing politically correct with the, the President's national security team. And I found it disturbing that when you saw a Secret Service woman in the circle with the other men, trying to protect him, she is so short that she couldn't cover Trump's top half. Now, I understand that everyone that cannot be six foot four. And I'm saying women should serve the Secret Service protection, but there are just some duties men are just better suited for. I'm sorry, it is. And if you think this is sexist, screw you. Now the question is, how did Thomas Matthew Cooks even get up there? And why did uh, bystanders notice it before law enforcement or the Secret Service? There are all kinds of videos out there about how he's going on the roof, he's going on the roof, he's going on the roof. And these are people who are just in the audience who are seeing this. And I said it was a 22 caliber yesterday in my other video. Well, I wasn't wrong because an AR-15 is a high-powered 22 caliber round. It's a 556 or 223 round. And depending what the barrel length of, of uh, this AR-15 was, 
that bullet was cooking somewhere between 25 to 3100 feet per second. <coughs> and he fired several. Obviously, he wasn't a good shot. Or good enough shot. Or obviously, his scope wasn't zeroed in well enough. Or maybe Trump did turn his head at the right time, at the right moment. But the disturbing thing is how the media is trying to spin this. I mean, they, they obviously had the picture of Trump and his bloody ear, but the headlines were, shots fired, Trump's okay. Now, which is true, but had this been Biden and Thomas Matthew Cooks, who's so-called a virtual Republican, had happened to this, you know what the coverage would be like right now. You know what the coverage would be like. So let's keep the country in prayer. In fact, let's pray now. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for the protection you gave Donald Trump yesterday. We continue to ask you to protect this country despite what's going on in the world right now. We ask you to protect this country despite what our government is trying to do to Israel. Our, our best ally in the Mideast. Lord Jesus, there's a remnant in this country that are praying for, for, uh, to come back to you. For repentance and revival. And to bring this country back to you. Lord, let your will be done. Continue to protect Donald Trump. Continue to protect the good people of this country. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Comments down below what your opinion would like to know. Like and subscribe. Keep the country in prayer. God's still in control. Jesus Christ is still king. We'll talk to you later.